Okay, chapter three. Um, moving along with my everyday look here and showing you kind of how I put my face together in the morning. So we've prepped our skin already. Uh, foundation and concealer is on. And I've set the foundation and concealer with our Perfect Press Powder. So without further ado, we're going to roll into the color segment of the operation. And I'm going to show you next up is our bronzer with my beloved tapered head brush here, which is ooh, lovely. And I love it for the fantastic point that you see on it. So I'm going right into this bronzer. All our products are really highly pigmented. So, you know, I always say go light and then go back. And I'm going to run this along my jawline here, around my hair, around my hairline, center my forehead. You're making like a reverse three is really the, the shape you're going for. Blend it into the neck. So really funny, um, I read somewhere, consider bronzer and contouring like spanks for your face, which just made me giggle. What do you think? Spanks for my face? Look at that. So you can see, I used, well, I applied um, my highlighter up here earlier in my last video, just seconds ago, in fact. And now you can see I've laid in the bronzer here. And again, just blend, 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 blend. It's all good. Now, I uh, want to highlight one of our new products. This also oh lovely peach blush. Ooh, ain't she a peach right here? Here is our blushing brush, brush. <laughs> it's a mouthful. Blushing blush. One step at a time. This is our number six. This is seriously one of the most versatile things we have in terms of color and how you can just get a great look so easily. And I'll talk a little bit about that. And then this is the number five. But today I am doing peach because this is my new favorite color. And it is my new favorite color because it is spring. And having a little peachy peachiness on the cheek is quite fun. And the other thing I love about it is that it's great for all skin tones. I mean, it, I've seen it on so many different skin tones, and it's just amazing to me how great it looks on folks. So I am dropping this right along my cheekbones here. And see? Ooh, so pretty. And then I'm going to come back in with that lovely highlighter that I talked about, number six. And drop that in right under my eyes here, like way high here. And again, I just want it to catch the sun. Going for a natural look. Voila. I really have to say that my chest is not this red, this lighting. But you can see I didn't put foundation on my chest. I did on my face, and it makes a big difference. Okay, so... Peach, our number six highlight way up here, and then the bronzer down here. And you don't need to do all three colors, but I have them, and it's fun, and I like the look. Okay? All right, let's just jump into a quick eye um, look now, and I'm going to kind of give you what I would just do. Like, I'll tell you what one of the things I would do is I'd take that number six if I was in a pinch, and literally... Dust it over the top of my eyes because it is that fabulous and just give you a nice little bit of highlight and call it done. But I'm going to show you kind of what I would normally, another, not normally, another one of my kind of go-to, go-to looks. So I am working out of my super fabulous 18 wall palette here. Um, all our eyeshadows are being reformulated and we expect to see those beauties here shortly and cannot wait to launch those. But I'm going to go with a nice light, light look on the lid here just to highlight and keep the brightness because again, I think having a nice uplifted bright eye works every day of the week and I'm using our large shadow brush and literally just 
tap, tap, tapping it in here. Just giving a nice light highlight on the top of the eye, on the lid. And I'm going to go back in and drop a darker color into my crease again, just to give a little definition. Okay, so I just tapped that, all that in there. I'm now jumping over and I grab my angled shadow brush and I'm going to go into kind of a darker mauvey color and I'm, I have kind of hazily green eyes. So if you think about color selection for yourself, you know, what you've used in the past and what looks good on you, um, I will kind of hang sometimes in these purples simply because you think about the color wheel, opposite colors on the color wheel, contrast and give you a little bit more of a pop, make your eyes stand out more. So I am dropping this right in my crease and I'm going a little bit right up the side there. And I'm going to blend in a little bit more in a second. Just trying to like lay it in there right now. Again, this does not need to take a lot of time. I'm going a little bit slower just so I can demonstrate, but I can knock this little routine out. Lickety split. Because, you know, there's always somewhere else to go and something else to do. Okay, so you can see. Woo. Again, going for a nice little daytime look here. We're not going overly dramatic. I'm now grabbing this little rounded blender brush, and I'm just going to use this to blend, 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 blend. Now, this little brush, I will tell you, um, is quite versatile. Um, this is also one that I love to use when applying concealer because it can serve as both dropping the it's concealer applicator but also to blend it in real well. See, there's not a lot of action going on here. It's all good. Nice little daytime look. So, just a little bit of brightness. Now, I'm going to follow that up with our perfect eyeliner pen and I am sad to report that as this is being recorded back ordered um, so popular that yeah we're out of them but they will be back they are wonderful and I can talk to you about other techniques to use eyeshadows as eyeliners in the meantime but it, for today I'm applying our perfect eyeliner pen um, this little bugger and again forgive me I am looking in my mirror here Literally just drawing right along my lash line, this perfect line. The part that I absolutely adore about this pen is that it is smudge proof. It's going to wear all darn day. And it's going to stay right where I put it. So when I open my eye up, it's not going to leave a line up there. It's going to stay right where I wanted it. So why do we care so much about eyeliner? Because it helps define our lashes, believe it or not. You get this little liner going in right along your lash line. And it actually will help the appearance of your eyelashes. Of course, we're going to follow up with mascara as well. but. When you wear eyeliner, it just really helps give that extra pop to your eyes. Look, poof. Now, if I'm going out at night, I would do a lower liner, but again, easy peasy daytime look is all I'm going for here. And now, piece de resistance. Ooh. There we go, look at that beautiful pine cone brush. Our perfect mascara. So I will tell you for years, I was one of those people that listened to um, all the beauty mags that said that pink and green Maybelline Best Buy mascara, one to get. Used it forever. But I'll tell you the one thing I hated about it, the price point was certainly magnificent, but I hate it. I would have raccoon eyes by the end of the day. And that's just not cool. It's not a good look on anyone. And this has fibers in it. 
Gives you beautiful lengthening. And again, it stays, but it stays and it's not glue. So I'm not having to use special removers to get it off at night. I mean, can you see that? Yeah. How could you not? It comes off when I want it to come off, and it'll come right off with my cleanser. So nothing special to get it off, which is fantastic. And in the meantime, I have a look that I can feel confident in. I mean, it's just awesome. All right, so I'm going to the other side. You can see for yourself as I applied that there, the difference it makes. And again, I'm not an eyelash curler. I just have never done it. Um, maybe I would have even more ultra spectacular lashes if I did, um, but I don't. So down and dirty, put it all together. And put these, make these beautiful lashes. Welcome the world. Yeah, ah, uh -huh. what do you think? and just round out the bottom here because again I didn't do any eyeliner and what you end up with is a great everyday look without a lot of time so I talked through all this here so it took a little bit longer but just to do a quick recap if you didn't see the first two segments um, this was skin prep um, which was you know wash your face and then I put on my Sotox, my serum, my face serum, followed it up with my One Drop Wonder to give me that extra sun protection in addition to booster product to help my skin absorb that Sotox and gain all its benefits as effectively as possible. I love my must-do, so I use my must-do oil as my moisturizer. Dove right into my foundation application along with a highlighter um, around the eyes uh, demonstrated that and then here we have the color piece oh excuse me I did a little perfect press powder just to set the foundation and then now the color so the bronzer the peach blush the highlighter brush blush excuse me blushing up at the top and then a real neutral along with a little mauve um, dropped into the crease my perfect eyeliner pen mascara I don't have any lips handy, otherwise I could demonstrate that for you, but you get the idea. So this is kind of how I go about my everyday look. So I hope you liked it. Again, it's Michelle Bray, Limelight by Alcone. You can find me online at braybeauty.com, www.braybeauty.com, or on Facebook at Michelle Bray for Limelight. But um, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you, and have a great one. And just remember, keep spreading the light.